Hello everybody, welcome back to our vlog channel. It's in the car, here. in our rental. Oh yeah, this we is We got the rental, rental bag. <laughs> the rental actually needs to be cleaned because it is a little dusty up in here on the dash. It really is dusty in here. Yeah, no, there's a bunch of crap in here, like Ooh. a bunch of mail, all that Christian organization mail. <laughs> there's so much of that damn mail. It's ridiculous. But I feel like we're finally getting it contained. <laughs> Everyone knows that my mother enjoyed getting junk mail yes, she, she signed up i don't even know if she signed up or who signed her up for but she received so much junk mail from christian organizations well, what it is is they sent her the mail she mm -hmm. responded to it and sent them money so they See, just kept sending the crap i'm still i don't know i think that she liked to give up the facade and i'm gonna say facade of doing the donations but i have found many checks that were written out to these organizations that were put back <laughs> into the envelope addressed stamp and everything and just set to the side and i'm talking like from years mm -hmm. so it's not like oh yeah so a few times she just set them to the side no she was doing it all the time so it's kind of like maybe in god's eyes i wrote the check because <laughs> it sounds like something that i would do well, no it does feel like we're finally getting somewhere mm -hmm. with actually um cleaning the house out moving the house it. along oh God. it's just been so much we are in the drive through picking up something <laughs> um my medical mj <laughs> i can say that because i'm a medical card holder mm -hmm. uh which the process here in florida is so sketch i took him with me into the office and it was it, it was something it was bad it was a moment it was bad definitely a moment uh. I don't know if it was the person that was sitting there calling to get somebody's credit card number to pay that got declined like three times, yeah. holding everybody up, or the lady that worked there. That didn't want to work there. That didn't want to work there. She didn't want to be there <laughs> past 4.45. She, my appointment was at 4.45, and she was sitting there talking to another lady. She's like, yeah, this 4.45 doesn't show up because they never do. And you were the 4.45? And I'm sitting there. I was there like 15 minutes early because <laughs> I like to show up early to my appointments. Mm -hmm. um, but yeah. No. It's very odd in there. Florida is very weird, very strange. Is. I like Florida, but I'm ready to get the hell out of here. It definitely is a very odd place. I'm to be. ready for some. Speaking of odd, we had something see. weird happen to us today at the house. Oh yes, we because did. Because we were cleaning out my mom's house, and we have like a dumpster in the driveway, whatever, just removing stuff. And we were in the garage. Front door was closed. Everything, and I kept hearing Aspen bark. And Aspen has this very shrill bark that <laughs> like that's a watchdog like if you need someone to be like deterred from whatever the hell they're doing have aspen there or he will start barking uh but i kept hearing it and it kept getting louder and i kept looking over at the front door and the door was closed i was like he's just making noise because i'm out here in a dumpster throwing glass and stuff into this mm -hmm. but i turned around one of the last times i went to the dumpster and the front door is standing wide open. It had opened itself. And there's a camera on this door. Yeah. <laughs> like, there's a camera on the door. You could see when Nick walked out of the door and pulled it, you can hear it click. Mm -hmm. And then, for some miraculous reason, it was... It opened. Uh, it, it opened. Like, there's footage of it opening and turning itself. Very weird. It opened very slowly, and the dogs didn't go outside. Like, they were mm -hmm. very good. They did not go outside. They just stood there kind of, like, barking. But then, like, 20 minutes later... All of a sudden, I, I turn around out of the garage and I see Karma running up to me, mm -hmm. like spooked, because she doesn't go outside. She's not an outside cat. We rescued her and she Very likes much an inside cat. Yeah, she likes going on the porch. She likes laying on her chair. She likes being where things cannot get her. Like she can look at them, but they can't come and get her. Mm -hmm. But she was spooked. I think it was like going into Narnia for her when she walked out <laughs> that front door. Like she didn't know what the hell was happening. So well, you know, a couple weeks a, back. a couple weeks ago when I had went in the um, kitchen mm -hmm. to get something to drink, I audibly heard something, and you can hear it on the camera, and you can see me look to where I heard it in your mother's room. No, but stuff has been uh, going on because earlier today I thought that he was still in the house before I even went into the garage. I thought he was still in the house because he was nope. going to try to scare me. And I swear I saw him even like bend down behind like the cutout of the wall, like where the kitchen overlooks like nope. the little living room area. And I even went, like I snuck around that corner because I was going to get him right back and there was nothing there. And then when I walked into the garage, I was like... Were you not just in there? Girl, I thought you were trying to scare me. No, um, like, and the garage, like, with the door opening, it's kind of weird because the garage is kind of car, uh, car, kind of far away mm. from the living room and the front door. So when we were in the garage working, you would not have seen mm. the front door. But it's, the footage is there. Well, she's not happy Maybe it's because, throwing her stuff away. Oh, that might be it. They say when you get to renovating or throwing things away from people that have passed away, that it can upset them mm. and they can show themselves. 
We found a whole bunch of stuff. Mm-hmm. Uh, records, vinyls that so many years, records, very old, like originals, like so um, Grease, Saturday Night Fever, Footloose, Footloose, um, Footloose for everybody out there, Elton John, I think, BB um, King, mm-hmm. all the, like all these old uh, vinyl records, and I hate to throw them away, but we just don't have anywhere to put them. Or there's uh, so many, and I love a good record, but. Not There's moving so many, across it's, the country. It's a full collection oh. of records that we have and then some. Yeah. No, I mean, and uh, I think one of the coolest things that we found so far is some of the milk glass. Yeah. The milk glass. If you My don't mom know. liked milk glass. Well, she loved milk glass. She loved crystal. I wish we could find some uranium glass. I think I might have found some uranium glass. We've in been the accosted. Garage. Yeah, something's throwing. The squirrels Ugh. here in Florida this year, I feel like, are on another level. Like, in my mom's backyard, I have never seen so many squirrels. And I don't know if it's because Bindi's gotten a little bit older. She's the outside cat. Mm-hmm. And she will, she would go out there, she would hunt them, she would eat them, all that kind of stuff. But I feel like now that she's gotten older, they're like, huh, we're taking this freaking yard back. Yeah, no. And because there's so many. They'll sit and throw acorns at her. They throw the acorns and they throw it at, like, the screen port. And it's it's, very, it's very freaking loud. Very like you'll rude. sit on the back porch because it's covered, and like there's a tree that overhangs, and they will throw them at that, and it's like bang, bang, bang. It sounds it's like loud. baseballs. It's freaking loud as it crap. It is loud as hell. It's so nice today in Florida, though. It really is. I'm ready. I'm just ready to be out of Florida, though. I'm ready to be out of Florida. <laughs> I'm. We gotta go. We're not gonna talk about where we're moving to, but I'm excited for it. Well, hopefully. Mm-hmm. This new car, like, it doesn't have, like, an actual, like, button you press on the thing. So, if you press... Well, why are you touching the it? The joystick... Well, why are you touching it? Because it's interesting. You That's one of the whole park. reasons why I wanted this car. You put it it's kind of like the Range Rover that doesn't have, like, the gear shifter doesn't move. It's all, like, electronic. Bitch, it does move. What are you talking it, about? But it's not... Yeah, it's like a joystick, though. It's not... It doesn't move like a... Like, you know... You uh, hear the crank. Yeah, like in my Camry that I had, you would Mm -hmm. pull it. It's not like that. No. (sighs) There's really nothing else going on. There's really not. I've been editing, like, a lot differently, and a lot of people really like it. And I have this video coming that I'm going to do about Dramageddon 1, and Mm -hmm. some people are like, you need to leave it alone because Tati just came back. I'm like, Tati didn't have anything to do with Dramageddon 1, so... I'm talking about drama getting one again, but I'm going to go in detail and do all this different stuff. I've had a lot of fun editing. Well, I was was seeing some people on the community posts because I shared Vanessa's live stream and I've been doing, well, I've done like a few shorts. The short thing, I'm just going to let everyone know what the short thing is right now. First of all, I don't really enjoy doing them because I think that it doesn't make sense that the shorts are put into a subscription feed, but they're not like no one's alerted that they're there. You literally have to go to your subscription feed to even see this. Mm hmm. Um, so that's not a reason I don't really like them. But I was trying that out because apparently you get a notification in your creator studio that you can get a bonus per month if you do them. So I just wanted to see what they would have given me he as a bonus. He wanted to see if there was going to be a bonus. I bro. wanted to see if I was going to get a bonus. So I was doing them, um, but people apparently don't like them. But also I saw that there were concerns that we don't really care about this channel anymore or we don't really care about the content that we put onto YouTube anymore. So we're kind of like pushing other people. And that's not it at all. This is just what we've been doing. This is literally, like we go to pick we things have, up and then we so go much. home. There's not no, but there, we don't do anything. Yeah, on our no, vlog there's channel. nothing to show or so, do. It's like I could sit that's, there on the couch. What? That's aggravating to me that somebody would say that though. It's not aggravating because I mean, if you look at this channel, it's kind of true. It's kind of true, not in the sense that we don't enjoy doing this channel, it's just we don't have anything to put onto this channel that we have been doing, because I'm not gonna do videos of cleaning out my mom's house. Yeah, no. I'm not gonna show things that I'm throwing away, I'll show things that I kept, I'll do that eventually, <laughs> yeah. but it's, there's not really even a setup for us to record actual videos, so that's what that is. It's not that we don't care, it's just that we haven't been doing anything. Well, yeah, no. And so. That's kind of insulting though, because I care. He has a, people know that we care. It's just we don't have anything going on to show. Mm-hmm. So I could sit on the couch all day, but we don't even, there's not even anything for us to talk about because if we start talking about things that we've been like watching on YouTube and things like that, it's we're going to start talking about drama nonstop on this channel. Mm-hmm. And that's not what this channel is. So if we were nope. going to do that, we would do it on our other channels. Right. But that's all that is. If we have more stuff going on, I guarantee you we I will be in showing next, y'all. In the coming up months. But it's. You'll see. It's like Groundhog Day it over is. here. So, yeah. I'm sorry if you were upset. <laughs> sorry. 
where those shorts things are annoying. They are annoying. Oh, no, I, I do like understand, it. but I do understand how they are annoying for people because even when I see them in my subscription feed, I'm like, it would have been nice to see a notification for this like three well, or four days ago when it came thing, out. Well, even with the shorts thing, it is kind of funky because like, uh, if you upload a video and then do a short, it'll default and stop showing you your analytics for that video. So you then have to go and look at the specific video mm -hmm. because it looks at the short and it, like the, they're two different things. I don't think YouTube has figured that out yet. I think what YouTube needs to do to be successful instead of having shorts within the YouTube app, they need to have a YouTube shorts app. I think that that would work a lot yeah. better. Yeah. Because I just feel like you should be able to upload shorts the same way you can upload a story because that would make sense because it has like a little bubble there that says this person just uploaded it has like the circle around you like it does on Instagram mm -hmm. I think that Twitter was doing it for a while whatever fleets. but I feel like that is just a better idea yeah how would you feel about the fleets the fleets I, I think I only did one fleet you've done plenty of fleets in your life and then you've never okay you got a hair yeah just falling out of my head because I'm getting older. Yeah. You guys can probably see how hairy my earlobes are because the light's behind me. Oh. I saw that one day in a vlog and I was like, oh girl, <laughs> I didn't know. But, oh. all right guys, we're almost to the window. We just thought we would come on and update everyone. <laughs> Love you guys. Bye. Bye.